Hi, welcome to the madcenter.com. This is the first of a series of videos based on the solutions manual that we prepared uh, to this textbook by Quadling Mechanics 1. This is the book uh, that uh, is published by Cambridge, written by Quadling Mechanics 1 for A-level mechanics. Okay, so we have prepared a solutions manual and you can find the solutions manual, the full solutions manual at themadcenter.com. So, um, in this video, we are going to look at this question. It's from the miscellaneous exercises. It's from the miscellaneous exercises to chapter 1. Okay, it's found on page 17 of the textbook. This question, number 3. And it goes like this. A cyclist traveling with constant acceleration along a straight road passes three points A, B and C and they give you the distances A, B is 20 meters and B, C is 20 meters and they give you the speed of the cyclist at A at A it's 8 meters per second and at B it's 12 meters per second and uh, you ask to find the speed of the cyclist at C okay so again this is a question you will find on page 17 of this textbook and so let's go through the solution okay Let's draw a picture. In mechanics, it's always great to start with a picture so you know what to do and plug in the information that you'll find in the question on your picture. So we have A, B, and C. So let's plug that in A, B, and C. And we are told A, B equals to 20 meters, and B, C is also 20 meters. The speed of the cyclist at A is 8 meter per second and at B it's 12 meter per second. You asked to find the speed of the cyclist at C. So let's call that D. So we're dealing with constant acceleration so we can use the constant acceleration formulas. So we have the distance 20, we have the initial velocity and the final velocity. We're considering A, B now. So let's write that down. So let's use uh, V squared equals to U squared plus 2 AS one of the constant acceleration formulas. So the final velocity here at B will be, uh, we are considering AB, so we have uh, 12 squared equals to 8 squared plus 2A20. Again, the velocity here is 12, so I have got B squared is 12 squared. The velocity here is 8, and therefore U squared will be 8 squared. And we don't know A, we are trying to find A in the acceleration, so let me write that down here. A is your acceleration. Let me write that again. A is your acceleration. We're trying to find that, okay? And as we know, 20. Let's clean that up. This is 144 equals to 64 plus 40A. So 40A will be equals to, uh, bring the 64 to the left. We have got uh, uh, 80. Therefore, A equals to 2 meter per second squared. So let's write that down here. Okay, just clean this up. 144 minus 64 is 80. And so you can find A as 2 meter per second squared. Now they want the, sp the speed of the cyclist at C. So let's erase this. Now let's consider the stretch BC. Use the same formula, v squared equals to u squared plus 2as. Now, the speed at c is v, so we'll maintain that v squared. What's u? Good. It's 12 squared, okay? Plus 2, what's a? 2, good. And we have s is 20. So, I've got 12 squared, the initial velocity squared. And then I've got my acceleration, which I found in the earlier part, which is 2. And I know my distance here is 20. So I can clean this up. This will be 144 plus 4 times 20 is uh, 80. And this comes up to uh, 144 plus 80 will be uh, 224. So therefore, we have V squared equals to 224. 
So V will be the square root of 2 to 4, which is about the square root of 2 to 5 is 15, so which is about 15 meters per second. If you use a calculator, you will get about 14.9 something meter per second. Okay, or you can just take it as 15 meters per second. So let me write it here. Therefore, V at C will be 15 meter per second. And we're done. So uh, the main things in this question, uh, we are dealing with constant acceleration formulas. We are dealing with two stretches, plus AB and then BC, using the formula, plugging in the numbers and working out the answers. And we are done.